Hello everyone, this, this is Avorion and I guess this will be the, our first episode. Now this is a sandbox space sort of exploration kind of um, a build your own ship also uh, game. It's quite nice, it's very new, it's in uh, early development. I wonder what those were. I think, yeah, our Im image is a bit... It's removing sort of frameish, probably because I'm having some problem recording the game itself. I don't know how many episodes I can give you guys because of the well latency and pretty much well the lack of quality in the videos. But I will go with you at least through the um, tutorial because it's very important. You should always play the tutorial if you don't know how the game works. Otherwise, you may have a lot of problems. <laughs> That would be one thing. And also we're gonna try to build a ship. I guess about two videos, I guess. Maybe more, depending on if I can figure out what's going wrong with the recorder and why it isn't really working properly. Okay, getting past all that. Right now we're in, there we go, it's a bit of lag. Uh, we are in the drone. The drone is basically your best friend ever. If this drone gets destroyed, mostly if it's shut down and doesn't take much damage, by the way, or uh, because of collision, you're gonna get screwed. Basically, you're gonna respawn in another drone uh, or in your ship if you have one. Usually, ships are nearby the drone. Uh, I understand there are a few bugs, especially on servers. We're uh, sort of playing like a single player, so we don't really care about server that much. But on servers, apparently, there's lag sometimes, and I don't really know how the game saves, but it's quite possible if you, the server crashes or if you die. Uh, apparently it's possible for the player to come back to the game but nowhere near his ship only in uh, a new drone and he will just like not know where the ship is getting past that now we have a few things on the screen over here there's a lot of things actually uh, this is basically your minimap sort of what you have select appears over here so let me actually show you let's say we're gonna select I don't know let's try that one did we get it yeah we get it there we go now it appears over here and it kind of gives you even some um, information about it. The distance, uh, her power, its firepower and so on and so forth, including its life. It's about half-life right now. Now this is the first system, by the way, let me open the map and show you. There we go. This is like basically the, the first system I spawn in. I have not left it. Uh, why did I left it? Well, I didn't want to leave it, basically. It kind of says what's inside, as you can see. And also, if you hover over, it also gives you a lot of information, including, I think, the um, um, faction that's sort of in the main around the, this sector. Uh, the margins, I, I, this margins, are the ones that show you how much you can uh, hyper jump, basically, so you can jump about two spaces wide. These, if I'm not wrong, are um, oh no, these are like the closest energy signatures that are uh, near you. If you go through gates, because there are a few, I think we have three gates just in this system uh, alone. One of them was actually mad on us. It was red for us. I don't even know why. Apparently, we have an enemy nearby. Oh, they're actually even fighting right now. Uh, on the top corner, there are actually a lot of fights in this sector. I don't even know why. I'm gonna. It's kind of weird, but I guess because it's everything, it's uh, sort of uh, random generated. So maybe that's why different factions come upon this system on their way to whatever trading routes they have, and they fight the crap out of each other. But that's kind of very profitable for us because we're sort of neutral. All of them. Well, we're friendly because they're they're. Uh, there we go. So most of these are green, so that means friendly. If they're like. Um, a gray sort of um, bluish color then they're neutral but they can get hostile quite quick happen to us <laughs> and um, also if they're red well you kind of guess what red is right they're just gonna wanna kick your ass basically um, why did I say it's lucrative for us well if they're fight they're gonna get destroyed and if they get destroyed their cargo is gonna be all over the place including upgrades and maybe even turrets and so on and so forth I don't think we got any tourists to be honest, but we got a few upgrades though, which was quite nice. We have a few, I think five or ab about ten, uh, not ten, seven probably. We just picked them up from outer space, so that was it. Uh, but we bypassed a lot of cargo though, which we could have took, I think, and sold anywhere, I hope. They're mostly battery upgrades apparently. That's why they usually transport around here. 
And um, I couldn't take it because the, the drone doesn't have a, uh, a cargo hold. And, uh, well, I didn't want to build a ship to get one. Because I wanted to build a ship with you guys. Okay, getting past that. That's just a thing that you could have in your beginning system. Because it can happen that you're not going to have that. Oh, there we go. That's debris. Let me actually select it. Like wreckage. That's part of a wreckage. Probably if we go near, we're going to find some stuff still around. Otherwise, cargo thing tends to disappear after a while. Apparently, the wreckages remain. You can mine them, you know, get some stuff from them. But you get little amounts of minerals. Okay, that's not good. Is this coming for us? Well, it's kind of coming towards us. Can I interact with it? Apparently, I can, even at this great distance. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him be and let's move beneath this bef as we still can because I don't want to get destroyed or anything. Uh, I think that should be about it, maybe. Where is it? Uh, I selected it. Yeah, you can get lost in space quite easily. That's the, the bad gate, by the way. <laughs> That's the gate that hates us. Okay, so he's coming towards us. Probably this uh, station over is gonna fight it. I'm gonna just go behind it. And play like a coward. Wow, there's like another debris right there. And uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, at a certain point, there was so many of them that I was starting to bump into them with the drone, which is quite small. Okay, getting pa uh, past that. Uh, another thing important on the screen is basically this. This is how many credits you have, the sector, the coordinates for it. Not that important, but it can get when you're going to start doing missions. Uh, this is uh, basically the order in which you're for importance of the materials you're going to find within this universe, at least uh, until future updates or something, because the game is in uh, production. Oh, there we go. They're engaging him. Uh, whatever, whoever that was. Salesman, apparently. Whatever. Uh, so we have iron, titanium, nanite, uh, trinium, xanion, organite, and avorion. Okay, uh, the first, I guess, the sector, at least for me, yielded this, because I didn't leave it. I got a lot of iron. I just mined it. It's going to take a while, but you can mine it. It's not that big of a problem. And I got some titanium as well, which is kind of rare, especially for the first sectors in which you spawn. But it kind of was here, you know, and so I profited from it and just sort of took it. This is if you uh, select it in a, a bit of, not, I guess not that far, it actually says right about here. Uh, the, so the distance, how much iron I guess, or maybe that's the mass, no, probably that's the mass, because I don't think I'm going to get 4,000 iron just of that, maybe, I don't know, 1,000 tops. And I think to know about mining, uh, I guess actually I can show it right now, because this is important for you guys to know as you're going to begin the game. Uh, so your drone is actually going to mine. A thing about the flying within the game is, well, you can't really stop. It's kind of hard to stop your ships, so be careful about that. As the, the asteroid is going to get destroyed faster and faster, you can see there's a small bar as we're shooting. This bar, this is basically its life, its HP or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't quite matter anyways. That's another asteroid in a distance. I was aiming for it. Of course, I wasn't going to reach it though. Um, as fast as that line goes down, that's uh, as little amount of mineral you're going to get. Indifferent of the type of um, material you are mining at that moment. And of course, uh, with the, I guess, mining cannons that we have right now, uh, as you move along and you mine a different and different uh, amounts, not amounts, types of mineral, you're going to do less damage, so you're going to mine quite harder. At least... That's how I observe stuff being for iron and uh, titanium. So the iron... Um, uh, so I told you about the thousand. Uh, so the iron uh, asteroids, well, uh, they uh, pretty much took, uh, they take uh, um, high amounts of damage and you can really mine them quite fast. While the titanium ones, even if they were smaller, it was taking much, much longer. Now, I don't see the guy that was attacking, so I'll be guessing about now that he got destroyed. Probably that one? I don't know. I should have watched it because if we would have went to the wreckage, it was quite possible that we would have gotten some upgrades or maybe some materials, who knows. I would have shown you as well the... The what's in downs. I don't know, I think I've already seen those. I don't see any wreckage nearby. You can... Oh, that again. There we have it. Is it this? 
I'm still getting the hang of uh, the buttons and I'm losing a lot of time because the tour is quite long. But I guess, uh, you know, you've got to, I got I to gotta show you guys these things as well. No, this is just a wreckage and well, that's about it. There's a lot of wreckage that way as well. No real idea where the new ship exploded. Because we would have been able to actually get stuff from it, probably. Okay, whatever. Uh, we should concentrate on the tutorial. I'm just going to begin it right now. Uh, how do I do this and then how do I do this? This is uh, basically the ship is going to follow the view of the, um, the cursor of the mouse. But if you press shift, it's going to tell you in the tutorial. You have a free mouse and the ship's going to do pretty much... It's just going to go on its merry way without really even mattering. As you can see, I have a free mouse and the ship can still fly. So that's quite important. By the way, the orange ones, just as the color, or I guess that color, whatever that color is, uh, asteroids, are the one with that mineral. So titanium are gonna have like um, white spots on it. And I guess the rest have, will remain, uh, I guess they're gonna keep their coloring as in the list. Okay, I said about something tutorial. This is a tutorial. Oh yeah, I haven't actually showing you the rest. So this is for the bugs if you want to report them. This is uh, building mode which you're gonna get probably next episode if you get there. This is mail for quests and I guess if you get some messages from the devs or something, I don't know. Uh, galaxy map is basically this one, I already shown it to you. Uh, this is your ship menu, right now we only have like uh, the, the drone, so yeah, not that much, you know. This is uh, basic stats about the ship you have, current ship or in our case the drone. You have two types of uh, iron mining turrets, so I guess we have two iron mining turrets, whatever those are. I, don't, I think we picked them up probably, uh, maybe you have them from the beginning. They're the same, so it doesn't really quite matter. Player menu, basically your yeah, stats and uh, whatnot. Oh, apparently we also have sort of an inventory over here. This is what you, what you start as uh, mining, as I recall. And this is all the upgrades I took just by circulating the crashed ships or the destroyed ships. So, I don't know what they do, they're upgrades, I, I must say I don't really quite even know how you use them. As I, I, I get it is, after you build a ship, you're going to have some slots depending on the how your, big your ship is. And you can actually insert these upgrades to further increase your power within the ship. Be it energy, as you can see, firepower, shielding, and whatever those are. So this is actually blue, this would be like the best of them all. Generator upgrade, if you're going to have one. Battery upgrade, and... C43 object detector. Okay, sort of a scanner, I guess. Scanner upgrade, energy upgrade, and so on and so forth. You know, they're there, sort of. There's gonna be a lot of them, apparently. Okay, I wanted to begin the tutorial like today already. So we're gonna go with full, we're gonna go over it as much as we can. Uh, apparently, I done some part of it because it should have started uh, making me go straight for straight and uh, to the left to the right and so on and so forth I can always restart it yeah great uh, I, I hit nah I should have hit yes use the mouse to look around the sector there we go we've looked around the sector use the mouse to wheel to zoom in or zoom out there we go we're moving now what's next? Great, you may have noticed your ship turning around. Your ship will automatically steer into the direction you are looking. Try it out. Do one full rotation. So if I'm gonna go like it's 360 degrees. Come on, I did one full rotation. If you don't want your ship to turn while you're looking, hold the left control. And try it out. There we go. The turret is gonna go where our mouse is showing, as far as it can, as you can see. But the ship's gonna remain in one spot. That's quite useful if you wanna survey the, the area while you're actually flying, but you don't wanna change your direction. You will have to use your mouse to use the UI or select things. This is the shift key thingy that I already told you, there we go. So you have to click continue. You can always end or restart the tutorial. Yeah, we get it. You just click that. Now use the W, W Y or whatever that's called, and S key to fly forward and backward. Yeah, forwards great, backwards not so much. It's not really going to slow down. Actually, it will slow down, but quite hard. So it's going to take a while for you to stop your ship just by flying backwards. But it it works. Yeah. Uh, and it's mostly going to use your thrusters, I think. Uh, what are those? You have the engine, you have thrusters. The small little ones that sort of arrange the direction of the... 
of the ship. By the way, if you're going to get damage, you're going to get damage in different sections. So if you lose a thruster, too bad. You're going to have a problem then. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Your thrusters automatically break when you stop pressing S. Pr pressing backwards won't make your ship break harder. See? Told you. <laughs> and it's quite uh, annoying, actually. But I guess that's how it works. For a hardcore break, you have to turn your ship around and accelerate or even boost in the opposite, opposite direction. So basically, if uh, we're boosting right now, we're pressing space. So if I want to like turn back, even if I stop, if I press uh, space, it's not going to work that much. At least it's work. It's going to work, but not as fast. Oh, they're fighting again. Ooh, I think we're having pirates or something. As you can see, I've boosted up and I'm, I can do it again, actually, because I don't want to go next, next to the pirates. <laughs> There we go, and we actually move in the other direction. It's not that hard, it's, but it, uh, I guess it's sort of a, a thing to remember of sorts. Okay, for a hardcore uh, break, you have to turn back. I think you already said that, so continue. Uh, this is your velocity display. Yeah, the one on the top, as you can see it. Uh, the first bar is your current velocity, so the one that grows, it's how much speed you gain. Unfortunately, this doesn't really quite say. I would have liked to see a number next to it, but that is it's possible to change in the future. <clears throat> you know. Uh, the f uh, okay, let's see. The first bar is the current velocity. The second bar is the program velocity that your ship will try to fly uh, at, basically. So that one. Let me see. Continue. Uh, blue means you're flying in the direction your ship is looking. Orange means you're flying in the opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in case your ship looks weird and don't know which is front, that should help. Because, my god, I mean, look at some of these designs. And yeah, let me select that in the distance. That's not a broken part of a ship. Oh no, that's a ship and actually that's kind of nice looking. But you can have like worse, uh, well but not worse, oh okay, this is like the best example ever. This is actually a ship, although it looks like a straw horse, I don't know, a twig. It's a ship, it's actually a corvette for that matter. It has hull, uh, well they all have hull of course. Uh, relations admired, wow. Uh, you have fire power, distance, whatever. So basically, uh, it has a lot of uh, HP. Actually, it's quite big and long and hard to to hit at. To be honest, I mean, so it's not that bad of a design, but still, I mean, I wouldn't want a ship like that. I just don't like it. I guess that's me. You know, whatever. What's that in the distance? I have like no clue. Kind of hard to select with the button that I've chosen because I haven't left the one. Oh, there we go. Weird looking ship, but kind of nice at the same time. I've uh, changed a bit the the keyboards, yeah, the keys from um, the game, and uh, we seem to have run in a few problems. I'm gonna have to change them again a tad. Okay, so it told me to go uh, press A and then D to go basically to strafe, you know. Use mouse four to select the asteroid uh, by looking at yeah. So that was the middle mouse usually. Now I've changed it and it's mouse four, and it doesn't appear to work that well for me. Fight your selected ast. To be honest, I could do selection way much easier just by having a free mouse. But that can be kind of weird when you're fighting, I guess. Okay, whatever. Fight your selected asteroid. Pro, uh, pro, pro tip: hold space to boost. Yeah, it's actually not that far away, and boosting is not going to be that great. But eh, you know, we can do it. Gonna try to slow down. Not going to work that much, of course, as it says. Is uh, not the best way to just a stop to your flying. We could mine it, by the way. Use your mining laser to mine the asteroid. Why I aim with the mouse and use left mouse to fire. Your targeting circles turn green when an objective is in reach. You can fire at it as it's blue as well. Can we get to blue? Come on, blue, blue, blue. Come on, blue already. It's still green. Come on. Okay, there we go. It's blue. We're still gonna do damage, but of course, if we're closer. It's gonna be way, way much better. Okay. Uh, does it want me to mine it all? Because it, it is, it is, the tutorial didn't disappear. Oh well, we'll mine it. You know, I've already shown you guys this, but nevertheless, that's too far away. It's not an asteroid, actually. Okay, let's see. Resources are collected automatically by flying near them. Your um, collected resources are displayed on the top left of the screen. Now, as you can see, right in front of me, there's something bleeping. Actually, that's a piece of metal that we've mined. It sort of remains near your mining. Um, as you can see, it gave me like one iron. It's sort of there, sparkly and nicey and whatever you want to call it. And you can get them, you know, but... Usually it's not really that worth it, but you could try it, especially if you read a lot of um, 
materials, you could go for them. Resources are collected automatically, already read that. Let's continue. All players start out with a mining drone so they can gather resources. Even in the unfortunate event of your complete and total annihilation, you will always have the drone to start over. So if we bounce now in on an asteroid, because you don't want to go into a station, you, you don't want them to not admire you anymore, believe me. Um, you need some friends around, basically. If you're going to bump into something and get destroyed, you're going to get, just going to get like a new drone. That's going to be it. Now let's continue. Click this button to fund a new ship. So we're basically at the moment in which we are supposed to make a ship. I actually thought I was not going to be able to reach this in time. I kind of... Well, what's that? I don't know that. This is new. Well, whatever. So in this system, there's a lot of... Um, I guess, I don't know. What would you call them? Uh, well, yeah. There's a lot of... Um, Traders that pass by, uh, cargo ships as well, and they get destroyed usually because they're not in the same factions as um, the sitting, I don't know, warships and the stations. So they automatically hit each other. They're mean like that, what can I say? Some of them actually don't quite have that much defenses. This this kind of, I don't know, pitiful or kind of sad, you know, to get destroyed Why? well, probably you shouldn't. This is a wreck. It's kind of far away. We're going to go for it. I'm going to try not to build anything today. I'm going to show you the building things and the rest of the tutorial as we're going to build next time around. So instead of actually losing that much time, we're going to leave this to be a smaller episode. And oh, that, that, oh, is that like cargo? I want cargo. No, that's not cargo. They're just pieces of ships that got destroyed. Uh, so when you're small, especially in the beginning, guys are going to build your ship mostly of iron or only of iron. It's kind of nice to, um, well, the fact that they're fighting because you're going to get a lot of uh, things that you can probably sell and get a buck out, you know. Uh, or maybe even better. So this one doesn't have like anything either. There was a fight with the pirates, whatever those were. But I didn't quite know where. Because you want it in space, you can lose uh, if you don't have like um, waypoints or something like that. You can get lost quite easily, so keep that in mind. And as I said, cargo will disappear after a while, so don't spend too much time until you get to the destroyed out ships. Because you're just going to lose whatever they had. It's going to disappear. Uh, this pump, basically, nothing else. Nothing over here either, just a broken up ship. Yeah, whatever. It's not uh, that always when uh, a, f a ship dies, you're going to get an upgrade. It doesn't really work like that. But since you're in the beginning, you're going to get a lot of stuff. You could go up and just mine the, the wreckage. But it's not really worth it over time, as I have uh, I've seen. Of course, if it has some material that you don't have, like anything except iron, maybe it would be worth it. Otherwise, not so much. Titanium you find kind of hard, but you can find it. Oh, and by the way, and uh, it's it is kind of nice to explore. We did explore a bit, and we were lucky, and we stumbled upon a hidden cache. It was just like a. Let me no. I changed my camera. That's not necessarily what I wanted. Uh, it's a tad better. You can reset this, but I don't really know how. <laughs> okay, so um. We found the hidden hash, it was a small container basically, and it had in it about 7,000 credits and I think some iron or maybe some titanium, I think some other parts as well. We have them in the inventory and when we go and try to sell, we can find some stuff. Now, we're not going to cover the ship, there's a lot of things to know there as well. You just don't, you don't just build it in flight and that's it. You have different components that need to go within the ship, well, depending on what you want on that ship and how big you want it and so on and so forth. There is energy consumption, which is kind of a problem for me, but I think I have a way around it now. Um, because we actually explored a lot and we got some titanium. You're going to see why. Different uh, type of materials are going to yield you different uh, type of uh, part ships that you can use in different ways. And so on and so forth. You can go really light or you can go really hard. Like a, uh, I mean like really, uh, not necessarily heavy, but more armored. That's going to make your ship heavier, although it's not going to be necessarily that big. And so on and so forth. A lot of things to uh, think about as well as crew management. Uh, to a certain extent, I guess. You don't really manage whatever they do, but you do need to get certain type of crew members to gun your guns, to man your ship, and so on and so forth. 
and depending on the components that go within your ship, uh, those can be really important or not important at all. You can just have crewmen that will do something and well, that'll be it. I guess we're going to show you when time will come. Okay, with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give the big like and to see more, subscribe.